Well, good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Kelly Byrne. We continue to follow a developing story. A plane crashes in Luzerne County and the two people on board are found alive after an hours long search. WBRE 28 WYOU 22 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers joins us live from Bear Creek Township with the latest developments. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Kelly. Investigators tell me they only learned of the crash around 830 last night, and they say they found the father and daughter all thanks to one of these, an iPad. What are the chances that they come out alive from this? Very slim, very slim. This, this was a miracle. Those, those two individuals are very lucky. A 58 year old man and his 13 year old daughter took off from Pocono Mountain Municipal Airport, performed a touch and go at the Wilkes Barre Scranton International Airport, and were on their way back to the Poconos when their plane crashed in the middle of state game lands in Bear Creek Township. With the help of the United States Air Force, they were able to track a better location on several pings, actually using the cell phone of the pilot and his daughter's. Um, iPad and the iPad actually led us right to the crash site. So at this point, search crews knew where the plane went down. Next, they had to make their way through state game lands to the site of the crash, just hoping someone would be alive. If you're dealing with the woods, the swamps, the hills, rocks, boulders, I mean, you're dealing with all kinds of terrain up here, yes. The daughter saved both of them by using her iPad, and dad was cuddling. The daughter that give her warmth because they were both exposed to the elements and were suffering from hypothermia at the time. He says in his 28 years with Pennsylvania State Police, he has never been to the scene of a plane crash with survivors. The cause of the crash is still unknown and is being investigated by the FAA. And the NTSB is expected to be on the scene of the crash sometime today. For now, live at Bear Creek Township, Nicole Rogers, 2022 Eyewitness News. An unbelievable story there, Nicole. Thank you.